Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. We are in the um, Dungeons and Devils campaign and the <clears throat> groundbreaking scenario. So we continue on exploring. I'm gonna try and get some more troops. Let's see here. Oh, right. Can I get anything else from here that makes sense? Yes. We're also going to work on building a city hall in these places. And let's see if there's anyone interesting. Elamar or Gretchen. Alright, we'll probably end up picking up Alamar. Because he's decent. Okay. Mm. I want to save the Medusas, <coughs> Minotaurs, and Manticores as long as possible uh, to build up and basically just work with these three primary units as much as possible. Um, and my other plan is uh, we're going to work with Sinka and Gion have those be our main two heroes to try and get to level 12 first and they'll move on from there goodness gracious what is this guy? several pack I think we can take it <laughs> my goodness sorry I still have my cold makes my ears a little fuzzy so it's it's a little bit interesting trying to uh, like hear myself speak. <laughs> it's kind of with like a pillow over my face or something. Yeah, we're gonna lose the harpy. That's okay. I'm okay with losing a harpy. Well, actually, we might not lose a harpy. That's exciting. <sighs> so the basic plan, my basic plan for this scenario is, uh, obviously, get my eight heroes and get as many of them up to level 12 as possible. Um, oh, but this is nice. This has got actually some, some options for building stuff. Uh, we'll start out by, we don't have enough money for a town hall. Uh, that's funny. All right, well, we'll start by getting a mage guild so that we can, uh, restore our spell points. But the, the basic plan is we want to get everyone up um, we want to basically take over every town but one and then run around and get everyone you know all the stat bonuses and, and things like that that's uh... that's very important to our to our campaign okay now with this we're gonna go up. So we haven't been up yet, and we should be up. This is basically like a Redwood Observatory. It gives you an extra area. So let's, oop. And we'll go from some experience. That's actually a good place to send Alamar. We'll send Alamar also to get some experience. As he runs around. Awesome. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but that's basically our plan. Uh, and right now, we're basically going to just continue exploring and try to get as much, save up some money. Ugh, lots of infernal troglodytes. Sure, I think we can take them. Or if they want to join me, I'll take that too. Um, because they don't give much experience anyway, so it's not like I'm missing out on a whole lot. Yes, logistics. Yes, logistics. Alright, new scholar. So basically, I just need to make sure you get wisdom, and then a couple magic schools, and we'll be all set. That's what I like to see. Okay, that's easy enough that uh, Gion can take that. So we'll have you move around over here. And Alamar will just go and get some experience. Then wisdom is good. 
Actually, he can get that. And we're gonna save up on hopefully enough gold to get a city hall. Yep. Okay, hold on a sec here. Everyone's about to, like, converge. Oh! Oh, wait, yeah, no, that's Alamar. Oh, thank God. I thought I was about to send the wrong hero over here. Okay, and then you'll go off over here for a sec. And you will come and get the experience. Expert Eagle Eye. As awesome as that is. Um. Okay, there we go. Getting everyone underway. Oh, it's nice to be... You know, to be doing some different... I mean, it's nice to be doing something a little bit different than the first campaign, I must admit. I just... It's not as uh, exciting in my mind as... Uh, as the later ones are, and I mean, even, you know, later on we get to more exciting stuff, but I want to enjoy what I'm doing now, because, I mean, it's all fun. I mean, a part of me is like, yes, ooh, let's get to, like, the hard stuff, but I'm also like, this is great, too. Like, I just, I really enjoy this game, and, uh, you know, I mean, basically it's a strategy game, you go around and you kill stuff, but, like, it also has a decent story, like, I, I kind of like the, the, the idea behind the story, you know, and you get to see it from all these different viewpoints and the factions and... It's just fun. I enjoy. I basically enjoy everything about this game. What can I say? I just I really like it. Oh, I should check my time. Okay. Not nearly as long as I thought. I was, like, paranoid that, you know, I'm gonna go over my time and it's gonna be a disaster. Because that has happened. As we all know from the Guardian Angel scenario. <sighs> I mean, it's not an absolute disaster, but it's... It's more of an editing nightmare. Because then I have to, like, cut all these videos, and it just seems awkward. Advanced Scholar. We'll take the plus one attack. Yes, we will. And then I think we will go after these pack Medusas next. Alamar will go back over here. Yes. But yeah. Try to think of, uh, something, something interesting to say. Something insightful, you know? Um... Oh my goodness, I have something in my mind that I wanted to talk about. But, uh... Now no, I'm blanking on it. Fabulous. Way to go, Mara. Um... Sure, we'll take some fire magic. spell power does he have? Pathetic spell power. It's basically was not worth it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, well, this is gonna be a little more brutal than I wanted. And, like, this is the one problem, these stupid spellcasters. As we all know, I hate them. I despise their guts. Go, harpies! Try not to be useless. You killed two! That was not useless. That was better than I was expecting. Way to go. Now, I've thought about maybe I should just, like, wait this stuff out because they only get four shots, but I think it's better to come and attack them because, you know, they won't get four shots off before I can start attacking them. Oh, that's just great. Oh, I don't get to fly back? That's such lame sauce right there. I guess it makes sense. I was turned to stone. Kill them. Kill the Medusas. Nice. Oh, looks like they're out of shots. Oh, good. Not stoned. Awesome. Yeah, but, uh... <clears throat> I mean, yes, I'll, I lost a lot of troglodytes, but you're just, you're gonna lose troglodytes. I mean, they just, they're just disposable. It's just what happens. So I don't feel too upset about it. 
not too upset about it. Oh, to, uh, I can't remember whether I mentioned this or not, I don't think I did, but to help, that's totally not where I want to go, to help get over my, uh, my cold, I was like, I've been, you know, I've basically been drinking soup for the past several days in an effort to <coughs> get myself to feel better, help my, uh, help my throat. And so today I was like, oh, what am I going to get? And so I decided to have one of my favorite soups, which is hot and sour soup. You get Chinese restaurants, it's just so good. And uh, I ended up going to P.F. Chang's to get it. It was ugh, it was so good. Mm. It was really tasty. I was very happy. I bet they can make it to me. I just gotta think about this for like... Mmm. Yep, they totally can. Shit. At least I get to, uh... Actually, maybe I'll just do it that way, where I defend. Could be worse. I don't attack. Which isn't great, but... Yeah. I think there are worse things than that. Um... Right, but yeah, I went to P.F. Chang's and got hot and sour soup. And then, like, I ordered hot and sour soup, like a small thing. And, uh, it wasn't with my order. And I was like, where's my hot and sour soup? And they're like, oh, this isn't your order. And I was like, really? Someone else ordered the exact same thing as me? They're like, wait, no, this is your order. They just didn't put the, like, thing that says hot and sour soup in the right place. So I was like, oh, okay. They're like, so let's go get that for you. Then I was like, oh, you know, could you get me a larger one? Because I had been thinking on the way to there that maybe I should have gotten a large one because... You know, that would be better, get lots of soup as opposed to a little thing of soup, and I really like their soup. And so they were like, uh, sure, we can do that, you know, we have the technology. I'm like, thinking, this guy's really sassing me about this, really. But, uh, but he was nice, and, uh, and he ended up giving me, like, not charging me for the large soup, just charging me for the small soup, which I really appreciated. I was like, awesome. And he gave me extra rice. I was like, yes. I don't know what I've done to deserve the, uh, <laughs> the kindness of free soup, but, uh, but it was awesome. Of course, then I left my credit card there, and <laughs> he, the guy had to come out after me and be like, uh, yeah, you left your credit card. I was like, oh, well, thank you for, you know, not keeping it. Um, I didn't actually say that, I'm not quite that pathetic or lame as the case may be, but, uh, no, it was great. Um, I think we're getting close to the end of our time. Nope, we've got a little more time. I'm, like, paranoid about time. I feel like I'm doing everything longer. It's because this is not my first time recording <laughs> this scenario. Yeah, because, ugh, bad stuff happened. I was recording, and then I over-recorded, and that meant that, <sighs> oh, we need to take on these beholders, um, but yeah, like, I over-recorded, and then my thing, my video wouldn't, like, save, which led to eventually me having to restart because I hadn't saved between. Now I'm saving once the video shows up. That's the plan, and that way I don't need to, uh, to worry if for some reason the video does not render because I took too long. Uh, anywho, I um, think we don't have time for these battles, so I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, this is Board Gamer Girl saying, have a great day. See ya!